let's talk about NF and Eminem. So NF, so Nathan uh, Barston. So Nate, uh, but people know him as Nate. She uh, does uh, hip hop and Christianist hip hop. Uh, she may not be uh, that big uh, on our charts, uh, but uh, he's talented. And he's one of those uh, only people uh, Eminem can't beat. And uh, there's some certain reason that why, because as you know, Eminem swears on, uh, you know, Marshall Mathers. He swears on literally almost every song he's on or that he made. So, and the fact that you can't compare them because uh, they, uh, they're both from the same state. Yeah. They're both from uh, Michigan, uh, just one. Uh, uh, Nate's from uh, Gladwin, Michigan. So, technically, they're from the same uh, state uh, and grew up uh, also in the same state, mostly. So, Nate, he doesn't swear. On every song that he makes or that he is in so so for example yeah yeah the, if you listen to literally every song he's on uh, yeah you don't hear a single swear word and of course like many uh, artists uh, you know he makes references uh, So like that, like one song uh, he was on at uh, Epiphany, which is uh, by uh, by uh, Futuristic. Uh, his first name is uh, Zach. So Zach, uh, he wanted to uh, collaborate with uh, Nate. So he hit him uh, up in uh, and back in like. 27 early 2017 saying I want to collab with you uh so he had uh Nate jump on his song so Epiphany and uh, no specific album title it was uh, Zach's song so Zach only swore once he said the S word Nate didn't swear at all So yeah, and uh, and 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 uh, Nate he uh, made uh, you know, one of the references he actually uh, you thought also rapping about uh, how people were like underestimating like if he did were uh, able to be uh, staying in a music business uh, which uh, which not like the same as that. Uh, why people can't rap? Uh, you no, know, just people that uh, he thought people thought uh, Nate was uh, didn't belong in the music business. So that's a different story. But uh, but Nate's talented. Oh, so now they gotta accept that. <laughs> so the no swearing part is that's one one reason. The second reason is uh, Nate managed to get people not to swear that he uh, collaborated with. So. And the song now uh, comes uh, on his uh, Clouds uh, mixtape, which uh, came out uh, this year. Uh, one of his uh, your uh, one of his releases, uh, a song called uh, "Lost," which uh, he uh, managed to got got a hold of uh, Pops in. So, uh, he got, uh, Hobson not, not, not to swear on that song.
That was a nice uh, song. Uh, and people are really uh, who are fans of uh, both uh, Nate and uh, 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 Hobson. Yeah, they like that one. But there's another song uh, also on that album. Uh, Trust, which also has to do with uh, trust issues with some people. Uh, so, Nate got a hold of Tech Nine, one of those uh, veteran uh, rappers uh, who was uh, Tech Nine, uh, who also owned, owned uh, Strange Music. And of course, you know, Tech Nine swears on uh, on, on some songs and. Uh, you know, a couple of his songs, uh, if you listen to them. So we also got uh, Tech Nine did not swear, and also fa and yeah, Nate Nate was uh and Tech Nine were fast rapping on that song, and yes, they can fast rap without swearing, which most artists can't. So even uh, Tech Nine, he should talk to Instagram to uh, rap his part of trust, and he is the featuring artist on that song. And uh, he even uh, played the entire part of his uh, song on uh, his bit on the song on Instagram with no beats, proving that he can fast rap without swearing. So Nate's that good. He managed to people to get that pop that big uh, orange stuff to in a hip hop rap genre to not swear. Of course, Nate doesn't have uh, picks fights with people, or dead. he doesn't diss others. Uh, so, in fact, he didn't even diss a single person. Which, of course, and of course, uh, and Nate does not have any beef with anybody. He's one of those clean record people. And yeah. Another one is uh, Nate uh, aims to uh, make real music, uh, which uh, he and uh, also, uh, and Zach Futuristic uh, also are uh, on the fifth anywhere there or uh, thing. They would actually prefer to make real music instead of being one of those uh, fa wannabe fakers. Or, you know, they just want, not one of those people who just want to be popular, they want to make actual music, uh, and also people you know, can uh, relate to it. So, and many artists, uh, they, you know, they don't strive to do that much, they just want to be, uh, you know. And Eminem uh, rarely does that, and uh, usually most of it music is like just uh, what I'm hearing is the dissing people or yeah, or name dropping and not much. Which also uh, times with uh. Nate being an, an inspirational person because yeah, many people have been inspired by uh, yeah, Nate uh, being one of those people that will be uh, keeping it real and uh, well, many people can relate to that uh, in uh, songs.
not just a song that he wrote, but also collabs like Epiphany. And also with a collab with uh, Sasha Sloan. And uh, especially uh, Lost with uh, featuring uh, Hofstin. Because music uh, is uh, barely uh, real anymore and it's just people just trying to be popular and trendy. And I'm like, uh, yeah. Nate never dissed his uh, mom. He had no reason to. Though he hated his stepdad, never dissed him either. He just said, I don't like my stepdad, and yeah, he was always uh, uncomfortable around him. And, and of course, the fact that he never uh, dissed anybody, and you know, I mean, you don't have to diss somebody to like say you yeah, don't like them, and just you can avoid them. And of course, the more meaningful songs. Quoting the fact that he is uh, one of those real uh, hence his uh, Instagram uh, page name, uh, NF Real Music. And tries to inspire more people a lot more and relate to them more. Especially the like, no swearing part, yeah. If Eminem were ever uh, just uh, Nate, nah, <laughs> or we're trying to like. Be better than uh, and if uh, not that a uh, yeah that they're in the same level. If you wanted to make like a more meaningful songs, uh, Nate's could definitely gonna beat them with that and yeah, for sure. Because even on uh, Eminem's uh, meaningful songs, uh, he uh, does swear at least once or a couple times. Well, he doesn't. You, know, you want to hear uh, decent music and without swearing, you know where to steer to, Nate, and uh, no, no other couple of reasons. Nate is not that good. And uh, some stuff Eminem can't catch up to one another. And if. Hmm? Sorry, Slim Shady. 
and those are some colorful factors that you can't do.